My name is John, and thanks to Mother Mary, I'm a 9-11 survivor. I was in the South Tower when radical Muslim terrorists flew a plane into the World Trade Center. I watched as the second plane collided with the North Tower, saw the terrible explosion. I was there when hundreds of fellow Americans died, their lives snuffed out at the whim of a madman. Without Our Lady's protection, my life would have ended with theirs. But first, let me share what happened just a few months before 9-11. I was 32, born and raised in Manhattan. I had worked my whole life for the position I found myself in at 30, an investment agent with control over millions of dollars and power in the company I worked for. But I was unhappy. I was not practicing my Catholic faith. I was raised Catholic. My parents were and still are devout, but I had fallen away years ago. On June 18, 2001, one of my best friends invited me to her house for a Fatima visit. It was a difficult time in my life, and I had been going through a personal crisis. Remembering the comfort family prayer had given me when I was young, I agreed to attend. At the visit, the America Needs Fatima custodian gave me a rosary. For weeks, the visit had stayed in my mind, and I kept the rosary in my pocket. I would sometimes pray on my way to work. On the morning of September 11, 2001, I almost left my house without the rosary. I made it three blocks before I missed it sitting in my left pocket. Something compelled me to turn around, and I made the five-minute walk back to my house to get it. I'm convinced that decision saved my life. My co-workers and I watched in horror as the upper floors of the North Tower exploded into flame and the sky turned dark with ash. Minutes later, I ran out of my office. The elevators were stuck and I turned towards the stairs. I made it halfway down before I ran into a locked fire door. I was trapped. Without knowing what to do, I kept listening to the screams of burning people locked inside the building. Above me, flames below me, a bolted door blocking my escape. I was out of options. My heart was racing, but against all odds, my mind was clear. Instead of panic, I felt strangely calm. My hand went right into my pocket, and I pulled out my rosary and started praying. Hail Mary, full of grace, glory be, our Father who art in heaven. How did I remain so calm? so focused when all around me were screams, despair, and death. The truth is, I don't know. Within minutes that for me had become as good as an eternity, the firemen were there. They broke down the doors and set me free. Despite all the odds, despite the fire, smoke, and malicious terror attack on American soil, I ran downstairs to freedom. In the days that followed, I kept asking myself, why me? The only conclusion I came to was this. My mother in heaven had picked me because of her rosary. America is in trouble, and like a terrified young man clutching his rosary, it needs rescue. It needs the saving graces only Our Lady can provide. I want to be sure that other Americans can feel the power of Mary's protection, as I did. I felt something that day which I passionately want every other American to experience. When we pray the rosary, it is as if she covers us with her mantle. And I felt exactly that when I knelt in prayer next to the locked fire door. Our Lady Fatima asked us to pray the rosary, pray the rosary, pray the rosary. Our Lady knew what she was saying. She knew she was offering us the right solutions to our problems and the world's problems. I discovered the rosary through America Needs Fatima, and it is thanks to the rosary I am alive today to tell you my story. If you could, would you spread the rosary to thousands of Americans? It would mean the world to me to know that others could be saved as I was. Without our unpaid volunteers, America Needs Fatima could not do what it does. They rely entirely on your donations to continue their mission. Please consider becoming a child of Mary by donating monthly a small amount to help America Needs Fatima continue reaching people like me and helping save lives and souls. Your sacrifice will contribute directly to helping spread the rosary across America. 
click below to help.